Marcin Paragnio and Felipe Linz in the light heavyweight division. Another weird fight. This is a very, very weird card to predict. First off, Felipe Linz moving from that heavyweight division where he was 234 pounds last time around moving down to the light heavyweight division about 20 actually almost 30 pounds down a weight class for Felipe Linz. He is going to be the smaller opponent in height but the longer opponent in reach fighting out of American top team losing most recently to Andre Arlovsky and Tanner Bozer but got some good wins over there in the PFL uh, actually winning the one million dollars but um this is a weird fight again because the last fight was one year nine months ago and he's moving down a weight class so we don't really know how he's gonna look uh in this new weight class if he's gonna be faster if his striking is gonna be cleaner I really, I, I don't know. We just, we can't really know uh, for a guy like Felipe Linz coming in here after that long layoff and moving down a weight class. But it should be interesting. 81% going Procnia. It is much closer than that. In my opinion, the betting odds as of right now have it fairly even. Uh, minus 111 for Mark Shane and then minus 103 for Felipe Linz. It's a fairly even even fight because Felipe Linz could just go out there, use that size, use that strength, come forward and just start throwing haymakers and knock out Marcin Parachnia, who has been prone to getting knocked out as he got knocked out by Sam Alvey. Not a good look. Magomed Alkali and then Mike Rodriguez. So yeah, it, my, Felipe Linz is a very, very live dog to just go out there and get this knockout in the first or second round. Would not be surprised in the slightest, but Marcin Paragnio is going to be the overall better striker. He's going to be the faster striker, in my opinion, with that more karate style, uh, like striking, where he's kind of bouncing all over the place, looking to land those kicks at range. I mean, we saw what he was able to do against E.K. Villanueva and Kalu Roundtree. His striking was looking very legit in those fights. Maybe it was a little bit slow-paced at times, uh, but every now and then he would land some really big shots, knocking out E.K. Villanueva on their fight, and um, with the fight with Felipe Linz, all he really needs to do is keep on moving, stay on that back foot, land the body keys, land the leg keys, land the jabs, land the counter punches as Felipe Linz is coming in, and playing that counter puncher role for a full three rounds here. So yeah, Felipe Linz needs to go out there and get the knockout. I don't see it happening, although if Sam Alvey can do it, yeah, Felipe Linz could do it. Um, I'm, I'm going to go Marcin Procneo decision. It's not like a super confident pick, because I could 100% see Felipe Linz going out there pressuring Marcin and knocking him out. But my prediction there, Marcin Procneo by a unanimous decision.